Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where today we have to be focusing on the altcoins because we have had officially had an alt season kind of day. Uh, it has just been buy an altcoin and profit amazingly, okay? It's literally been crazy today, uh, obviously with Binance opening. Uh, and I'm going to try and keep this video as calm as I can um, because I don't want to induce people into FOMO. But honestly, this has been a extremely profitable day uh, across the board for altcoins. It's just been absolutely amazing. Obviously, looking here, starting on Bitcoin. Uh, we've very much been ranging sideways and we all know that uh, altcoins uh, excel when Bitcoin ranges sideways, okay? When it moves is up greatly, they obviously, as you will know, over the past few weeks have been bleeding out greatly, okay? When it moves down greatly, they also don't do well, but when it ranges sideways, they excel. What else fueled this movement? Obviously, Binance finally opened up their deposits, which have been down for over a week. Obviously, we were speculating on the stream. What's the reason? It turns out, actually, uh, they would were just very much doing their work very well. And it opened up the opportunity, opened up the floodgates uh, for people starting to deposit money into Binance and the alts literally rallied um, so hard. OK, so I'll cover a few of the alts which were which we have traded today, which have moved very well. OK, so you have to obviously start with Ravencoin. Yeah, we have to start with Ravencoin uh, because that was one of the biggest movers of the day. OK, so Ravencoin, that was simply... Okay, simply a 786 retracement. Okay, what did you have on the 786 retracement? You had this old resistance. Okay, so your old resistance support. We come back down and we tested it for a few days at 786. Okay, that was just a simple buy from the 786. Okay, because uh, you, your stops could be placed fairly tight. Okay, literally below this wick, this red wick here. You could have had your stops placed. Uh, we, we're talking a few percent of risk. Okay, on a trade or a coin that has the great potential of pumping. Okay, so for RR wise, it was a very nice trade that obviously paid out extremely nicely. This went. Uh, it flew. Okay, it flew, and you can just see here. OK, anyone that tells you Fibonacci doesn't work, show them this right here. And you can see literally from the 786, we went straight up to the 618, literally the Fib above it. And that is a 40 percent gain in a day right there. OK, absolutely amazing. No, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, then we were looking at ontology, another one that I've traded today, which has done brilliantly. And this was simply just from old support. OK, old support. We come right down to the bottom of this range. OK, this was a massive sell off. OK, just literally a kind of like a V shaped recovery flipped. OK, we come straight down to the support. <clears throat> OK, and that was just literally, a, again, a very low, low, low risk uh, trade setup right there. OK, that's 28 percent again in a few days, literally from support up to resistance. And now we are fighting at resistance, you must admit. But this has been a great day for altcoins, literally. Um, you know, you could literally pick any altcoin you want across the board and it's it, and it's profited really well today. Obviously, XLM, another really good one when this is from a daily support level. Uh, you look at VeChain, obviously that recovered really well, hit 100 sats and sold, it's been, well, sold off a little bit, okay, just a retracement. But um, this is obviously another coin that has, has been extremely set, sold off, okay? You obviously, just like a, a few weeks ago, uh, like less than that, like a week ago, we were set at 150 sats. We were declined all the way to 80 sats, okay? And today, with Binance opening, obviously just fueled it from really 87 sats all the way up to 100 sats in the matter of, a, you know, a few hours. Absolutely crazy. Uh, another really big mover that I'll show you all has been Litecoin. Oh my God, Litecoin. Uh, yes, uh, this is one that I actually called on my champions group. As you all know, I'm not really a signal caller, but when I like identify like full on amazing setups that you just cannot not take. Uh, this was one that I posted for everybody and we have all made really good profits off of this. So this was one that I posted yesterday. As we were forming this pattern, we were just at the very low end of the pattern, like really, really low risk. And literally everybody that got in with me on the group um, has made extreme profits today. As you can see, Litecoin, since the post that I made, was up, uh, that reached a 13% rise. And we're still 11% up on the uh, on the movement since that post. So that, yeah, like literally it's just been any altcoin has just done so good um but obviously you don't want to just be buying the random altcoins you do want to see the ones where the setups obviously those all those altcoins i've just went through have all had those amazing amazing setups and it's just like uh when you see setups like these okay this is literally the 1618 extension by the way so we literally we hit the 161 well 1611 uh one okay well, you're talking about a tiny tiny percentage off of the lowest lowest stop loss okay that's what you're using for your stop loss and um, so this was just like extreme low risk trades that have paid off absolutely massively absolutely massively um, again, I don't want to induce FOMO into people because you're now buying at the uh, the wrong end of some of these moves. So they've all obviously moved today. But um, <clears throat> yeah, you just have to make the opportunity on these alts. Um, yeah, just know what you're looking for. Identify the setups and move in <laughs> because, yeah, it's been absolutely great. 
um so going st taking a step back let me calm down it's just yeah i've, I've, I've made a lot of people uh very happy today <laughs> so i'm happy about that yeah very very happy that people made money with me basically and uh now we're just seeing obviously what we're looking at here is in in, in bitcoin terms very much just meandering around this obviously we're looking at in uh, let me calm let me calm um so we're obviously just looking at obviously you know without a doubt this eight thousand four sort of eight thousand four hundred eight thousand five hundred level we are still on that resistance point but you know as i've said many times while you hold the 382 retracements there is no need to panic okay really no need to panic what happened again last night okay again last night we had another 382 retracement okay another 382 retracement where well, we had a few wicks down okay i was scoping this in the time okay i was scoping this um as i mentioned in my group i was like yeah i'm, I'm long scoping bitcoin over the 382 here and we come down to the 382 for one nice bounce we come down for a second and we obviously closed slightly below it but that was uh, a little bit like mm, we could potentially be moving down for a lower another step but obviously the bulls you know on the next candle brought it straight back up okay and it has just then yeah continued to move sideways basically the whole day so we've got a key area of support for me. And, and this is where, you know, you, you don't need to be have any worry in the world. OK, we're still holding the highs from that resistance point. OK, you, you know, even when we lost the 382, we didn't even touch this support level, which just shows the strength, in my opinion, uh, from those buyers at this point in time. OK, so we held, obviously held this critical support level or not, not so much critical, but just a important support level. Um, but then we obviously we, we managed to hold that while after losing the 382 to, to, to then move back back up into this sideways range that we are in on Bitcoin. OK, so then you're obviously just really clearly now in this range. OK, we can just look, be looking at, you know, top top of the range is 8,339, bottom, bottom of the range 7,585. And I can remember that these sculpts that these tiny little percentage sculpts um that you could literally in like one minute it was moving up like 1.5 percent for sculpt trades it's just like crazy volatility and this is just a trader's dream absolute trader's dream right now uh this is what i this is just what i live for what i die for what i will just go to the grave for i love love volatility and this is why i love cryptocurrency it is the best okay no other market you're gonna see these sort of gains in a day it's just um ludicrous across the board across the board um you know it's it's just amazing okay so yeah the, the trades that i'll be fo co uh, co closely following over the coming hours will be obviously here we're still moving up on xlm very nicely we're obviously keeping our eye on ltc still moving up nicely as we're speaking here and we are obviously coming up to important targets. Uh, obviously, though, when you, when you are playing these sort of patterns, you don't just play for your target and leave it forever. You know, we have got our trading stop losses set. And, uh, you know, whatever happens now, it's a, it's a profitable trade. And uh, as, as people have said right there, that pays for a whole... A whole uh, anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, brag about this. It's just, yeah, really, it's really, really critical that you're identifying these supports. And apologies in this video if I've come across as a bit of a... Um, an idiot i'm just so happy basically and i know that a lot of people also are probably very happy because how can you not be off these altcoin moves i mean literally although you would obviously one would never recommend fomoing in like fomoing in has, has been profitable for a lot of traders over the last few weeks which is really really bad okay it is really bad and you don't want to be the guy that fomos in at the top of moves but for example buying the pullbacks onto the three two that is totally acceptable totally acceptable to be behind the pullbacks you don't buy the breakouts really you don't buy be be the you know don't buy the breakouts if it's through FOMO and it's not a calculated buyout. Uh, it's not a calculated breakout. You don't be the person that just FOMO buys. But if you have got these calculated buys, for example, you know, those charts that I went through were all calculated buys. Um, it obviously works out extremely nicely. OK, you don't need to be FOMO. in. you've obviously seen the retracements that are happening on these coins. OK, all those setups that we we're going through were all from retracement based um, setups. So it's just like yeah just be, be, be aware that you there's no need to be fomoing in and you know retracements definitely always come even in up and down trends so um yeah that's that's what i wanted to make oh how did i forget about bnb by the way uh that was another one that literally touched our perfect daily support and uh just flew again obviously this was fueled by if you trade over like one oh wow just absolutely crazy like um yeah binance coin is obviously one of these really big ones as soon as it came online and there was like the announcement that if you trade um some sort of trading competition on on um binance that if you have over one btc traded then you get entered into their 500 um 500 bnb prize pool or something along these sort of lines i didn't pay too much attention to it i was just really bullish as soon as it opened um 
because you were on this like critical support and we were obviously when when the exchange actually opened we were already above it and held, holding the level and it just gives you clear invalidation levels basically and then obviously yeah that just run extremely nicely um and then we're obviously coming down in like now a nice bull flag so um let's keep our eye on bnb and uh, yeah across the board everything is just going really well at the moment and all I would stress is you have to remember the, the sort of normies uh, that are going to start coming into this space. Um, yeah, there's going to be so much FOMO and you would, one would expect a, the correction when it comes to be uh, abrupt. Let's just say it like this. It will be abrupt when it comes and it will take a lot of people by surprise. I'm absolutely sure of it. And that's why we use trading stop losses. That's why we use trading stop losses, basically. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just enjoy this uh, while it's happening. And there is no reason to be annoyed right now. It's, it's it's honestly great. And I myself even became overexposed in positions today. Uh, but obviously everything worked out well. So I'm very grateful. And um, yeah, a bit, of a, a bit of a different video update for you all today. But I hope that you have enjoyed. Uh, leave me a comment down below on the altcoin that you are watching right now. Very interested to uh, be to know what you're all looking at. Obviously, I've went through my what my main ones today i'm in more but i went through my main ones today and i am very interested to know what are you looking at for your altcoin of choice what have you been trading today or what do you have your eye on to be buying on a retracement or alternatively what are you looking to short on a movement up obviously uh, on, on over on bitmex you can be shorting some a few selected alts uh, so maybe you are a contrarian right now and you are looking for short positions Okay, so please let me know what you're after and I will uh, be reading through those comments and reply to some of the interesting ones uh, of alts that people are looking at. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Sorry, it was a bit of a different one. Um, but yeah, just hyped about the alts. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>